Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about sky replacements. More specifically, sky replacement Photoshop actions, mainly because I have a little treat for you guys. I've gone ahead and made a sky replacement Photoshop action that's separate to seamless, works just as well, perhaps even better, and I'm giving it away for free. So let's go ahead and jump right into this and, you know, really get into the nitty gritty. So sky replacements, pretty tough, huh? Um, it's even tougher when you have all these things right here. What are these things called? Branches? Get out of here. Branches. And we have a white house or a lighter shade house that kind of matches the tone of the sky. It's, it's a little bit difficult to say the least. Now we can go in here and make a selection and refine it with the selected mask tool. But who wants to spend all the time doing that? So I've gone ahead and made the action. Let's go ahead and jump right into it by going to Window, Actions, and oh look, it's right here. Hunter Lomayespa's Pen Tool Sky Replacement Workflow Version One. Now you're saying to you're saying to yourself, Pen Tool? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't mess with the Pen Tool. Pen Tools for for people that actually have the time to do to, to do the Pen Tool. So Pen Tool is the best thing ever. For sky replacements and, it's, and we're not actually going to go in and select every little individual branch with the pen tool no we're just going to select the big objects and let color range do the rest so let's go ahead and jump right into it so we have 1a flatten image pen tool sky replacement workflow this is basically for your single images or your single background images that need a sky replacement so if i took like a single exposure on an overcast day and I just want to do some tweaks in Lightroom, pop it into Photoshop, do a sky replacement. That, that's basically the workflow. But if I had multiple exposures or if I was cloning things out like a realtor sign, anything like that, I would want Merge Visible just so I can keep those layers intact. So let's go ahead and jump into Flatten Image. So let's go ahead and press play. And you're greeted with a pretty cool dialog box. And it says, using the pen tool, shortcut key P, make a basic path around the foreground. Don't worry about being 100% precise as the mask will be vectorized and can be easily adjusted. So let's go ahead and do that. P, and we're going to select the, what's this called? What are these things called? Houses. And I'm just making a quick path right here. Just like so. I'm not even doing any curves or anything like that. I just made a quick path and it's pretty basic. I mean, we're overlapping the roof and everything like that, but I'm going to show you how easily adjustable this is. So let's go ahead and press play once we've finished that path. Press play and it says using the color range tool, select the entire sky. So continue and it's pop it'll pop up the color range tool. Sometimes it'll come up with the selection preview of none. Just go ahead and switch it to grayscale. Next, we can go ahead and select a portion of the sky and then hold down shift and select more of the sky. So I think just about there is good. So you can also mess with the fuzziness. I find 45 is to be a good balance between detail and not detail if you know what I mean so <laughs> I don't know if that made sense so let's go ahead and uh, press OK and it's gonna do its thing and we are going to see a very cool green overlay so select and place a sky overlay from your sky library hit continue it's gonna pop up a dialog saying uh, not a dialog your window for finder or file explorer let's pick a sky um, let's go with this one, uh, daytime sky 22 place, and we're going to go ahead and put that right here. Now you can see, look at all that grossness. Watch this. And we're going to place the sky, and we're going to hit enter on the keyboard, and check this out. Look at this. Look at that. Now it says, now that the action has completed, you have a number of optional adjustments you can make. First, you can adjust the foreground pen tool path with the direct selection tool, shortcut key A. Second, you can you can, can paint white or paint black on the foreground color contamination decontamination layer to darken or lighten foreground elements such as tree branches. This is useful if the sky isn't blending over the foreground, which we have right here. The sky isn't blending too too good with it. I think the the trees are just a little bit too bright for the for the sky that we've picked. So let's go ahead and hit stop, and we're gonna select our 
foreground color decontamination mask, the layer mask, I should say. Get a brush tool, set the flow to 5%, and we're going to paint white. And we're just going to paint this. We don't need to be too precise with it because we can go ahead and fix it. Now, you might notice that the, the uh, what's it called? What do they call these things? Trees. They're getting a bit dark. We can actually fix that pretty easily, and I'm going to show you just how. So let's go ahead and uh, control zero to get back out. And uh, we're going to go to image. I'm sorry. We're actually going to go select the foreground color decontamination layer. And we're going to go to image adjustments. And where is that? Where is that tool? Levels. And we're just going to bring up the levels. So about 1.69 is doing it for this image. So click OK. That's blending in a lot better, but you can see our path right here. It's not looking too good. Let's go ahead and fix that. So we're going to go to the foreground pen tool path, layer mask, or vector mask, I should say. Hold down, or not hold down, press A on your keyboard. That's going to bring up the path, and we can go in and just adjust these points. So we're going to go ahead and click a point, adjust it. Like so, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this back into here. I'm just gonna bring that here and there. And we're gonna hold down spacebar. That's gonna allow us to go, to move around the document. And just like so. And I like to I like to get it pretty close to the edge, but not too close to where it's gonna cause a halo. So that looks pretty good. To confirm that, hit enter. And, oh, look at that. We got a little edge right there. Let's go back into there. A, or Z, A, A, yes, A, A. <laughs> Actually, we need to go to the pen tool because we have to add a point here. So you, we just hover over the line, add a point, go back to the A, and adjust it. And there we go. Looks pretty snazzy, huh? And look at that detail. Look at that level of detail. Look at that. Mmm. Pretty. And that's pretty much it. If you ever want to change the tone of your sky, just go ahead and select the, uh, the sky user selected overlay. Go to filter. And where is that guy? We're going to go here. Camera raw filter. And let's say it's a little bit too dark. I'm going to bring that up. Bring the highlights down. And I'm going to say, like, do a little bit dehaze, maybe a little bit more saturation. And I'm going to change the luminance a little bit, maybe a little bit higher. Press OK. And that's looking more realistic. It's pretty good looking, actually. That's pretty much it. Um, if you ever want to change the sky, just go ahead and go to the optional select different sky overlay. Hit continue. And that's going to allow you to change into another sky. Let's pick a, uh, number 70 is looking cool. All right, smart filters applied to layers containing this group will be turned off temporarily while the transform is being previewed, blah, 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 blah. Basically, it turns off the smart filter. Click OK. And we'll adjust this. Click that. That's going to reapply our smart filter. And I think that looks really good. That looks really good, actually. I'm even amazed. OK, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just hit me up in the comments or on Facebook. My name is Hunter Lomayesva. It's right here, L-O-M-A-Y-E-S-V-A. Now, let's go ahead and go to bed. It's, it's 1233.